<laughs> so hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Are oh, you new here? Hello, welcome. My name is Luna Rose because I am your busty bombshell and as you can read from the title of today's video we are going to be going over all of my tips and tricks to make a breastplate look more natural. So let's get into it shall we? Okay, so let's talk about breast form, shall we? I will leave my little playlist down below where I debut and review every single breast plate, as well as my video where I try on all of the plates within my collection. The one that I'm currently wearing is the one that I picked up from Shein just after Christmas, and this cost me only £38 for a D-cup silicone filled breast plate, Honestly, a complete bargain. I will also link that down below. I will also put some timestamps if you want to skip ahead to certain sections of this video. But pretty much, we're going to start with the actual construction of the plate itself and how to make it look more natural before you've even purchased it. Because breastplates come in two different fillings. So there is the cotton filled breastplate. These are usually lighter and cheaper. Or you can get the silicone filled breastplate, which are usually a little bit more expensive than the cotton counterpart, as well as feel a little bit heavier and like weightier because the actual filling of the breast form isn't like teddy bear stuff in cotton. It is actual like medical or food grade silicone, meaning that the actual silicone breastplates move, they bounce, they squidge and have so much more like believability and like a natural esque feel to them. So first of all, I would highly recommend just going for a silicone filled breastplate. I do own cotton breastplates in my collection. They're fine. I think they look nice under a t-shirt, but they don't really move. If anyone is going to touch them, they don't have the same amount of squidge to them. So first off, my first recommendation to make a breastplate more natural, just opt for the silicone filling girl. The next thing to make a breastplate look more natural, this is just my own personal opinion. I know certain people really enjoy the high neckline breastplates, but it is to trim off the top portion of your breastplate or purchase one that is the lower kind of t-shirt style breastplate. Like I said, this is the breastplate that I picked up from Shein and it came with like a very high neckline. Honestly, that is not my favorite thing. It just like pronounces my double chin more, has a weird like separation line here and just, it makes it feel so much more like suffocating and tight to the top portion of my like neck and body. Obviously with that, it can look more natural since you don't need to wear a necklace. It can just look like one continual like piece and for some people they like the high neckline look or like the high neckline breastplates. Personally for me, my recommendation would be to trim off the high neckline. What I did with this one after I did my little video review is I just take a little pencil eyeliner, something that's just going to scrub off the breastplate really easily and while I'm wearing it I map out a line of where I want to trim it down to. I would recommend trimming off less and like working your way up but pretty much just draw a little white line of where you are planning to um play surgeon and trim it off. From there, once you've mapped out your little white line, take a very sharp pair of scissors. I'm talking like proper like sewing scissors, not just like weak little kitchen scissors. They do work, but you don't want to tear it. You want a nice like guillotine chop to it and literally just go around with some scissors, chop it down. Honestly, this is so much more comfortable to me now. Yes, you do have to wear a necklace to hide the top seam, but we can get into that in a second. But I definitely prefer a... um a non high neck breastplate and something more like a t-shirt style. My one that I wear the most often, I actually picked up from the boob shop and that when you just fasten around your neck like an actual necklace, honestly, it is my holy grail favorite. My personal like recommendation or what I would go for with a breastplate, but this one's fine. It is like a t-shirt style now that I've trimmed off the neck and it's cute, but yeah, definitely I would recommend trimming down the neck. So the next thing that I would recommend in order to make a breastplate look more natural is to cover the edge seams of a plate. By that I mean this one I put on like a t-shirt, meaning that there is a hole at the top. You can see there is like a differentiation line at the very top of the breastplate. I like to put a necklace to hide that top seam. It also has edge seams on the like shoulder portions as well as like just under the bra area. So my next recommendation is to wear something that showcases the girls if that is your intention. Obviously if this was just under a t-shirt I would have like full three-dimensional structure as well as movement but wear something that actually covers the edges. Don't just do like a little spaghetti strap dress and like put your hair over it and be like oh look I'm so natural. No it is noticeable you can see edge seams if they're not like hidden under clothing so I would recommend wearing a necklace to cover the top edge seam of like the neck region or just like a thicker like strap dress, something like that. Obviously these bo this bottom seam on this breastplate is actually covered by the bra, so that works nicely for me, but definitely hide, 
hide the edges of the breastplate if you want it to look natural. The next thing that I would recommend in order to make a breastplate look more natural is to match it to your skin tone. Obviously this isn't like a perfect shade match to my face, particularly not to my arms which have like no fake tan on them since this breastplate does have quite a lot of like warmth to it. But what I'd recommend is taking some kind of powder foundation. Personally for me I use the Superstay 24 hour like full coverage powder foundation or even the She Glam powder foundation. Both are really good products and what I will do is I will take a super dense brush. I mean like a really really dense packing brush and literally I will just load up my brush with powder and pack that on. Honestly it worked really well. I have done like liquid makeup and tried to use like my foundation on it but I found that foundation almost makes the breastplate look more textured and kind of a little bit like cakey and also it transfers more it doesn't last as well or like look good for as long personally for me i just like a powder foundation really load up a brush and like really densely like pack it on and really you know make it match your face you can really alter the color of a breastplate to match your face obviously then if you use that powder on your face it's going to be a lot more cohesive it's going to match so much better and personally for me i buy the breastplates usually in the lightest shade that they come in meaning that it will match me if i'm not fake tanned and not like full umpa lumpa orange but i can also go in with a darker powder foundation and make it match me a little bit better that way but definitely apply some kind of makeup particularly if you're doing like full drag makeup make it match. There's nothing worse to me than when you see that disconnected makeup. Also, if you're putting like body highlighter glitter, add a little bit to the breastplate, make it look more natural that way. Pretty much whatever you're using on your face to like be your base makeup, also continue it down to the breastplate. The next thing that I'd recommend in order to make a breastplate look more natural is actually to put on a bra. Obviously, breastplates come, they are their own like self-supporting thing. Gravity doesn't take effect on a breastplate quite like how it would on a natural pair of breasts. However, by putting a bra on the plate, it kind of shapes them and makes them look a lot more... I guess rounded it gives me a lot more cleavage and like push up which is personally what I'm after I like the visual interest of when you see my outfit to have some kind of like cleavage or like eye line into cleavage so I'd highly recommend putting a bra on them this one does come with full like three-dimensional nipples meaning that if I'm wearing like something sheerer or anything like that you will see the nipples through it they will like poke through like full-on like madonna bullet holes so i'd recommend just putting a bra on it honestly just makes it look more natural it gives it more fullness in the right kind of way that you're going for and personally for me i just think it looks so much better with a bra just giving them a little mm, to them obviously they move a little bit less but still it's a worthy sacrifice Okay, so probably one of the biggest things I would recommend is to not go too large with the breastplate. Personally for me, I am like a UK size 14 and this is a D cup breastplate. I feel like this fits my proportions nicely. It's not overly massive that it looks exaggerated or like unnatural and it's also not too small that it kind of just ruins the point of me wearing it. Personally, the smallest breastplate that I own is a C cup breastplate and I feel like that's fine but it doesn't create too much like cleavage or enough for me at my current size so i would recommend obviously if you are skinnier than me maybe go for a c cup if you are larger than me maybe go for like a double d and e cup but don't go too large i own s cup breastplates i own h cup breastplates i own massive breastplates and honestly they're very fun to play around in they give me that full like exaggeration bouncy jubbly like bubblies that i really enjoy when i'm in drag but if I'm trying to make something look natural and not trying to go too overboard and actually fit my proportions, I would not recommend going too large with the breastplate. I do have a full video, video going over all things to do with body, like corsets, padding, that kind of thing. But personally for me, adding too much bulk to the top half of your body achieves the opposite of what you're trying to achieve. It doesn't make you look more feminine. It just makes you look way too top heavy, too like shaped like the letter P and... It just is not a good look, so I would recommend investing in a steel bone corset, some hip pads, and not going too overboard with the upper portion if you're trying to make it look natural. Obviously, the like inverse happens as well. If you are super broad shouldered, if you have a bigger physique, don't go for like a little B or C cup. My first like breastplate I bought was like I think a C cup breastplate, and it looks so minute on me if I try it on now. It just doesn't have the same amount of like volume that I need and like want from it. So um yeah, I would recommend buying something that will fit your frame. Don't go too big, but also don't go small because then it, to me, it ruins the point of me putting on a breastplate. I'd prefer just to do like a padded bra if I'm going for like smaller, but um, 
I like the illusion of cleavage from a D cup, personally for me. And then my last tip in order to make a breastplate look a lot more natural is honestly how you style it. Personally for me, I like to wear something that has either a high neckline, so like a cut out like high neckline, or something that is covering the shoulders and showcases the girls. If I'm going to be going in with like a t-shirt or something that's covering my entire like upper body, I will personally just go for a padded bra or just gel inserts. I don't really feel the need if I'm wearing something high neck to go in with a full breastplate, but that is to like each person's personal like preference I guess but for me it all comes down to styling how you style it how you wear it and what you are doing to frame the breastplate think of the breastplate as important as how you like style your face do your makeup you don't want to do something that's going to drag you down make you look strange there are so many outfits that I have in my collection that are like very tight around the top portion and it literally will make the boobs look like that and that does not look natural that does not look like they are like natural breasts or like that's what I was born with I also own like ones that make the boobs look like that also doesn't look great or ones that are like so squished together that it looks like that obviously this is like a nice stretchy jumpsuit meaning that I can just put on a bra that fits to a d-cup put this over it it covers it nicely it doesn't distort the breastplate in like any weird way I have seen far too many queens even queens on RuPaul's Drag Race that wear something really tight and it just from the side, it gives you like the weirdest flat, like mono boob looking thing you've ever seen. Pay attention to how you're styling it. Don't wear something that's too tight or crushing in certain areas. If anything, I like something like this that is kind of the dress down the side. I cover the top seam with a necklace and then just put a bra on. It covers all the edge seams that I like. It covers the areas that I want. Obviously, it also covers my arms pretty much with the like cape robe sleeve, meaning that the only place that I really need to be concerned with it matching is my face. So, um, yeah, definitely pay attention to how you style it. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Genuinely, it helps me out so much. Comment down below if you have any other tips, tricks or hacks in order to make a breastplate look more natural. I am going to be doing a full like extra series and bunch of other videos to do with like how to wash a breastplate, going more in depth, doing like my makeup, all that kind of stuff on it if you want to see it. And don't forget to subscribe to the girl next door with something more and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. This wig has been like slowly falling off my head the entire video because I stacked on like a ponytail piece and like flicked it all to the back. So, um, bye. <laughs> the illusion is shattered.